so today is the last day of December so I hope all of you December babies had an amazing month celebrating your birthday celebrating the holidays and now it is our last talk about tanzanite so welcome to the magic of tanzanite with gemology Jen so tanzanite is the most valuable of the December birthstones with many amazing emotional physical and spiritual powers plus a gorgeous color that can benefit you every single day so today I want to reveal how you can unlock and harness these amazing powers and you want to stay tuned until the end to see which goddess you are when you wear your tanzanite jewelry so tanzanite powers include opening the crown chakra the third eye and the throat chakra as well as increasing your inner light your health and vitality for boosting your quality of life so we all want that boost of energy and we all want that life balance to improve our quality of life Am I right? So are you ready to tap into these benefits? So the three top ways to tap into the benefits of tanzanite are through meditation, using it as an elixir, and of course wearing it in jewelry. So meditation is the best way to tap into your chakras and open the benefits of the crown, the third eye, and the throat chakra. And tanzanite crystals will help keep you calm, in control, and protected from people wishing you bad things or wishing or who have negative energy so it'll protect you from all of those bad karma bad energy bad thoughts and when the crown chakra is open through meditation it allows you to visualize your higher spiritual realms and helps you explore your inner journey of purpose so really tap into that um, inner voice that inner strength that you want to lead you to that life's purpose that you were meant for. And through meditation, you can link the throat chakra and the third eye chakra to simultaneously boost psychic powers and communication, making it easier to communicate and express your inner, vis your inner visions and what your heart really wants to say. So meditating with tanzanite also reduces stress helping you to slow down so that the quieter side of your personality can emerge, bringing you into a more balanced state of being. A second way to benefit from tanzanite is to use it as an elixir. So four to six drops will calm you when you're especially stressed, and a great time to use this method is to take it before bedtime. So the soothing, calming tanzanite vibrations will help you relax and drift off to sleep faster and easier and when you use um, tanzanite as an elixir it um, allows it to course through your veins uh, faster so it will bring uh, results a little bit faster uh, another way to benefit from the elixir is to help transform any kind of addiction that you may be suffering from and change it into a more positive outcome when you use it this way. So the third way is to carry, hold, or wear tanzanite. So you can wear tanzanite as jewelry, of course. So you'll want to wear tanzanite jewelry, especially earrings, hair clips that are adorned with tanzanite crystals, and necklaces that keep the tanzanite powers by your heart or up near your throat and third eye chakras so that its energy will keep these areas open and clear all day long. So you want to keep a tanzanite gemstone, worry stone, or even a small tumble stone with you during the day. And you can take it out and hold it to calm and soothe yourself during very stressful times um, where you may be called to your addiction. So it encourages a more optimistic outcome instead of succumbing to that addiction. It kind of um, changes those vibrations, change your mind, and, and you do something more positive for yourself instead of falling into those addictions. And when you really need to calm yourself down, maybe you're making a presentation or you're nervous and you want to take, so you want to take the stone and either hold it in your hand or rub it between your thumb and finger. So this will soothe you faster and bring you that sense of calm that you need. 
So you'll find that you can speak your mind and say it with intelligence and compassion instead of anxious and emotional. So you can come across really confident. So you want to, so you want to see some great styles to not only harness these benefits but also make and and make you look and feel more beautiful. So in jewelry, we discussed that earrings, necklaces, and gemstone hair clips work best all day long to open up your chakras. But you can also benefit from rings and bracelets with their protection and vibrational energy. Tanzanite does look best in white since it is a cool color. So white gold or tanzanite, uh, tanzanite, white gold or platinum, sorry, saying tanzanite way too much would look best with tanzanite, but you can also find it in yellow or rose gold. So first I want to show you some pendants that you can wear close to your heart or your throat. So this first one is very royal looking, very antique looking uh, style that tanzanite especially looks good in. A lot of blue stones look good in these kind of antique looking mountings. And the next two are a little bit more modern and hangs lower, closer to your heart to tap into any kind of uh, emotions with the heart. Next we have these sweet celestial style ear studs that look like uh, stars. Then we have one that looks like sun rays, so keep that um, brightness all day long. And then these fun half hoops which help open the third eye and throat chakras. And last but not least, I wanted to show you a beautiful tanzanite ring that makes the gemstone the star of the show and can be a unique alternative for an engagement ring. So which style would you pick and which color tanzanite would you love to wear? Put that in the comments. So why am I asking? Well, when you wear certain colors of tanzanite crystals, it will help you connect with your inner goddess. Yes, you are all goddesses, of course, so give me a heart if you feel like a goddess. So everyone better give me one. So, when, so wearing a violet or indigo colored tanzanite, this will honor the goddess of wisdom, and that is Sophia. So she is the story of being lost, then regained through finding the wisdom of understanding, doubting, and spiritual exploration without having a higher belief. So when you wear purple or blue tanzanite, this will honor the Greek goddess of war and wisdom, and that is Athena. She's also, she's always shown wearing armor and is known as a skilled fighter and strategist, as well as her superb logic and intellect. So she's attracted to the blue and purple crystals since they're associated with fairness, wisdom, and loyalty. So which goddess are you? Put it in the comments. And I want to wish you all a happy holiday, happy new year. I hope you take this time to recharge and recharge and rejuvenate. And I'll see you in the new year. Take care.